Okay, uh, welcome back. So in this video I said we would be looking at more algebraic fractions. So this time we're going to be looking at ones that are a little bit harder because they're going to have variables in them instead of just numbers. So the example we'll look at the start is 1 over a plus 1 over b. So start kind of at the at the start. So they could be these could be any letters here. They don't have to be a and b. They can be x and y or z or anything like that. We're just going to look at this one here. So the main thing to keep in mind is that it's the exact same as the ones where as in fractions with numbers, it's the same rules. Obviously, there aren't numbers, there are letters, but it's the same rules, and that's what you have to keep in mind. So don't get confused and try to do something different. It's the same idea. So the same one as last time, we have to make sure it's the same thing on the bottom if we want to add these two fractions together. So obviously, A and B are different things, so we can't add them just yet. We have to kind of change them a little bit. So what we want at the bottom is the lowest common denominator, again. So we can't find a number that's a, that's that A and B are frac factors of because A and B aren't numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to use... Oh, sorry, that's the wrong pen color. I'm uh, going to undo that and change the pen color. Sorry. Uh, what we're going to use is we're going to use AB as our lowest common denominator in the bottom. And now we need to find what we're going to put on the top, okay? So the idea is again, so remember last time, I think it was we had 2 over 5 and 3 over 7. And we had to put, go 5 into 35. So it's going to be the same thing. We're going to divide A into AB and whatever's left we're going to put on the top. And that's going to be B, because if you divide AB by A, you're going to get B. Okay, and then the second one, if you divide B into AB, you're going to be left with A on the top. Okay, so basically, like, that's kind of a more difficult way of remembering it, having to divide A into AB, even though it's the correct way. The best way is just thinking, whatever wasn't in this fa fraction before, just throw that up on top. So there was no B in here before, so just throw that up on top here. And there was no A in this one before, so you can throw that up on top over here. So again, the point I'm trying to make is that we're not actually changing the fractions at all, we're just writing them in a different way. Because if you want to rewrite this, you can cancel out the two Bs, yeah, because there's a B on top and a B in the bottom, they'll cancel and we're left with 1 over A, which is exactly the same as we had over there. So we're not changing it, we're just writing it a different way, and the same way you could cancel out the two A's here and be left with 1 over B. So I'll just undo that. Yeah, okay, and now that the same thing is on the bottom for both of these, we can just add them together. So B plus A all over AB. That all good? So you can write it A plus B, B plus A, it doesn't matter, but the idea is they just... So this is your answer here. So you have to make sure it's the same thing in the bottom and then you can just add them both together. Okay, and next one then, I'll just change color. Ooh. Yeah, that's good. Okay, uh, again, multiplying fractions isn't any different. It's just the top by the top and the bottom by the bottom. So we're left with one, because one times one is one, over AB. So again, multiplying is still definitely the easiest one. That all good? Do, 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 do. Next one. Okay, green. Okay, and dividing again, there are no different rules in this one. So again, we're gonna invert the second one or turn it upside down. So that's gonna be it's the same thing as one over A, B over one, which is technically still B, but it's just easier to write it as B over one for this, this kind of, since we're multiplying it by a different fraction. Okay, so one over B, B over one, and then we multiply the two of them. Yeah, so it's the second one. You have to invert it. I'll draw the little arrows here. Ooh, dodgy arrows, but still. 1 over A times 1 over B, which is just going to be B A. Yeah? And then again, I'll just draw the brackets over, over here. You could have it 1 over A divided by... Okay, I'm going to redo that A. 1 over A divided by 1 over B. Yeah, so that's just another way of writing the same thing. That's still 1 over A divided by 1 over B. So if you see it like that, you know your answer is going to be... I'd, I'd recommend if you see it like this to change it into this and then you it's easier just to deal because you know exactly how you're going to flip it and then multiply them. But anyway, that, so if you're dividing two fractions, the second one, you flip it, you turn it upside down, then you multiply them by each other and you're left with this thing here. Okay, and then the last example here is again, oh, sorry. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Just leave, forget about that little green thing there, and I'll keep going with the yellow here. Here we go. So this is the exact same thing as we had in the first one. So remember, if we go scroll back up to the top here, we had, we had to get the same thing on the bottom for both of them, and then we can add, add it all together. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to put the same thing on the bottom, so that in this case, it's going to be A, B, C plus something over A, B, C plus something over 
ABC. Okay, and we'll fill these up in there. So again, the way I said, you can divide A into this and whatever's left, put it on the top. Or the quick way is just thinking whatever wasn't in this fraction before, stick it up on the top now. So there, there's only A in this before, there wasn't a B or a C, so we're just gonna put BC on the top here. The same thing here, there was no A, there's a, there's, a, there's a B here now, but there was no A or C. So we're gonna put A, C here. And then the same thing, with this one here, there was no A or B, so we're gonna put A, B here. And again, it's the same, adding fractions is always the same, doesn't matter how complicated it gets, you're always just rewriting one over A in a different way. So if we cancel the B and C here, I'm not gonna do it, but you'll be left with one over A again. So you're doing the exact same thing as the rest of the videos. So then I'll just add all of these together, since it's the same, the lowest common denominator on the bottom, since it's the same thing, then we can just add, the, add them all together, B, C plus A, C, plus AB over ABC. And that's how you add those three fractions together. So the reason I'm showing you kind of a nice simple one over A plus one over B plus one over C is it does show it quite well. So like it doesn't, doesn't even look that nice, but it's just, it's the principle that it shows really, really well. So you can apply this to much, much harder problems when there's crazy fractions and all kinds of things like that. But this is just the idea that it has to be the same thing on the bottom, how you kind of how you change each fraction so it's the same thing in the bottom and what you put on top and then you can just add them all together like that so hope this helped and we'll see you next time